Hey guys, welcome. Today's chakra tune-up is going to be for the second chakra. This is our sacral chakra. It's located beneath the belly button above the pubic bone. So we'll get into some poses that work this area. And compared to right what we just did in the root chakra, which is our stability and our steadiness, and our second chakra is the water element. So it's a lot of fluidity. And so I invite you to let yourself explore that really free range of motion as we work through these poses today. And we're going to start seated. I'm up on a blanket if you want something to give your hips a little bit of height is nice. And then just take whatever cross-legged seat feels good. All right. Just take a moment to close your eyes, sit tall, and take a couple fuller breaths. All right. Even in a shorter practice, just to give yourself that brief moment to drop in to find your breath. And whatever feels steady and comfortable here, when it's full without forced. And then from this, you are just gonna start to make some big circles through the hips and the torso so you can lean forward, come off to the side, roll your pelvis towards the back over the other side and then come forward and you can keep your eyes soft or close and so think about it like the bowl of the pelvis come side to side and then forward and back and worry less about how you're doing it <laughs> about the alignment whether it's right or wrong and just start to feel into that movement along your pelvis and your hips You can start to match this with your breath. Sometimes it feels good to take right, half the circle with the inhale, the other half with the exhale. But do what feels right. And really let your body start to lean into it. And after this next one, come back to center. Root through your hips. Inhale, reach both arms up. And then exhale, fold forward. Just take a gentle forward fold. Sometimes early in practice, the range of motion here is different. And so let it be wherever it is. The idea of just starting to get into that. And the tissues within the hips, these big, denser tissues that can take a little time to warm up. and then walk back switch the leg that's in front we tend to have a habit with which one that we start with or often sit with and if that feels a little awkward then wiggle around find your seat again sit tall and then take those circles starting the opposite direction right so whichever direction you went on the first side switch again maybe it feels good to soften your gaze or close your eyes so that your one is starting to turn your attention inside, shutting out whatever's going on at home around you. But also so you can focus more on feeling the movement than worried about what it looks like. We want to start to create this fluid element within the body. And then come back to center, sit tall, and then hinge, walk forward. Just a few breaths. Right. It might even feel good here to just sway a little bit, really gently side to side, or let the hips settle in and move. Right. So we can work on each chakra on its own, but there's also this relationship to it, right? That sometimes in order to find a little bit of freedom, we first have to feel stable enough. Right, so we create the root chakra and that connection so that then from that, we can allow a little bit more fluidity. And come on back up. Uh, go ahead, come to tabletop. You can set your blanket, whatever you've got off to the side. And so a little bit different variation on cat-cow here. You can take your knees out a little wider, untuck your toes, and bring your big toes together to touch. And press down into the tops of your feet. Find a firm grip with your hands. And then as you inhale, arch your back, look forward. 
And as you exhale, round your back like you're coming into cat pose, but take your hips all the way back to your heels into child's pose. And we'll move that with breath. Inhale, side forward. Arch your back, look forward. And then exhale, round. Send hips back to heels. Good. Just start to find the pace, the rhythm of breath that works for you. Inhale, side forward, arch your back. And so it feels like one continuous movement. And then round, send your hips back. Fluid, watery. Inhale, come forward, arch your back, look forward. And then exhale, round, send your hips back to your heels. All right, this can be a great chakra to really play with if you're someone who tends to be a little more rigid in thoughts and mind, planning, inhale, arch back. And then exhale, slide all the way back, right? Where can you find a little bit more give? Think about this as a little more of the go with the flow. Good, come forward to tabletop and then bring your knees back to hip width, tuck your toes, stretch back down dog. And find a little bit of movement here if it feels good to pedal out knees or let your heels sway side to side. Right. I encourage you to keep it a little softer a little flowier. And you still want to find the support, right? Connect for your hands so that you're giving the structural support. But where from there can things find a little more movement? Okay, right leg up, inhale. Step all the way through, exhale. And then bring your left knee down to your mat. You can always grab blocks here for your hands. That might be nice for a little bit more support. Take a full breath in. With your exhale, slide your hips back, straighten your front leg, or towards straight, fold forward. Inhale, slide forward, bend your front knee. And then exhale, slide back. All right? don't worry about full range of motion, one side or the other. Inhale, come forward. All right? think more about the fluidity front to back, pose to pose, than having to arrive, land anywhere. Exhale, come back. Inhale, side forward, bend your front knee. This time, keep your left hand down. Reach your right arm up to twist. Good. Feel the breath move. Reach your top arm up, and then hug your right shoulder blade back in towards your spine. Full breath in. And with your exhale, bring your right hand back down. Lift your knees. Step back, down dog. Left leg up, inhale. Step through, exhale. Good. Right knee down. Again, maybe blocks here. Take a breath in. And then exhale, slide your hips back. Good. Come forward. Inhale, bend your front knee. And then exhale, slide back. Front leg two or towards straight. Fold in. Forward. Inhale. Just meet your breath wherever it's at. It might be different from my cues. Exhale, side back. And come forward again, inhale, this time right hand down, inhale, left arm up, twist. Right, and just give a little squeeze of your legs for support, but then let the hips start to slide and settle forward as you reach and open up through your chest. Good, unwind, bring both hands down, lift your back knee, take a big step forward front of your mat. So press through your feet, inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. Take your feet out a little wider. Bend your knees, come down to squat. Good, and you can keep your hands down to the ground if that feels a little better today, or you can bring your hands together at your heart. You're also welcome to sit on a block or two blocks, three blocks. <laughs> and wherever you're at, just shift the weight a little bit side to side, right? So instead of it being a static pose, even here as we hold, there's just a little bit of movement through the feet, through the hips, through the pelvis. You can soften or close eyes. The second chakra is also the seat of our creativity. Right? We think about this like when we're in that element of flow, when ideas are moving really well, where we feel at our most creative. Right? Sometimes when we're too stable, too stuck, the ideas don't come. The creativity doesn't come. And so we build one from the other. 
Good. Come back to center, hands down, lift your hips, and then walk your feet back in, hip width apart. Good. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. And then just take opposite elbows. Keep your legs strong, but let your upper body get soft. And find a little sway of your torso and head, neck, and shoulders a little bit side to side. You may even shake out your head yes and no. See if you can let go of directing the movement and instead just let it be. All right, let it go wherever it wants to. Good. Come back to center. Release your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. You can bring hands to mat or shins or even thighs. And then exhale, fold. Step your right foot back and then turn and plant your back heel. Inhale, come all the way up, warrior two. Good. Right, so set the stability first. Find the foundation in your legs. Squeeze your legs in towards center so things feel connected. And then we'll find the fluidity. So press down into your feet. Inhale, reach your arms up, straighten your front leg. And then exhale, bend your knee, open out wide. Good, root down, inhale, reach up. And then exhale, open out wide. Nice, one more like that, reach up, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Now this time, reach up, straighten your front leg, but pivot your feet to the long end of your mat. Good. Turn your toes out, heels in, hands to heart, bend your knees, sit down, goddess squat. And then just check to see that, again, right? Check the foundation first. Knees and feet are in line. And with hands to heart, just like you did in that malasana, find a little sway, a little movement side to side. Soften through eyes. Feel the shifting of the weight side to side. Again, allow the movement to happen instead of forcing it to happen. Right? I know I can get pretty rigid <laughs> in my alignment, in my poses, in my practice. So it's really good sometimes just to let go and have a little more freedom. Good. Come back to center. Press through your heels. Inhale, stand all the way up. Reach up. And then turn your right toes to the back of your mat. Slide your left heel back a little. Open out wide, warrior two. Right? And find the length of your stance. Strengthen through your legs. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Reach both arms up. Exhale, bend your knee. Open out wide. Follow your breath. Inhale, straighten. Reach up. And then exhale, open. Bend your knee. Good. Reach up. Inhale, straighten. Bend, open. Exhale. And then do the same this time. Inhale, straighten. Turn your toes to the long end of your mat again. Reach up. Exhale, hinge and fold forward. Lift halfway here. Inhale. And then you're going to bend into your left knee. And two choices here. You can come side lunge here so with a little bend in the knee. Or a fairly big bend in the knee there still. Or come down a little bit further. Skandasana. And lift your back toes up. See what feels right for knees, hips, ankles, and wherever you're at, we're going to take it side to side, All right? So take a full breath in, full breath out. Good. Inhale, come through center, and then exhale to your right. So whether that's side lunge or skandasana. With your breath through center, inhale to the back, through the center, and to the front. Good. Come back to center. Inhale. And then walk your hands forward as you exhale. Take a big step forward to the front of your mat. Good. Halfway lift. Long spine. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Come all the way up. Exhale. Hands together at your heart. Good. Start with feet together. Find a gaze point for your eyes. And then bend your knees, sit back like you're coming to chair pose. But take figure four here. So cross, right ankle, left thigh. Right, and yes, you guessed it. We're gonna take it to movement here as well. 
Right, so as you inhale, stand all the way up, bring your knee up. Exhale, press your foot back, warrior three. You can keep your hands in prayer, you can reach them back, do what feels best. Inhale, stand all the way up, right? So maybe hands to prayer, maybe reach up. And then exhale, figure four, sit down, cross ankle to knee. Reach up, inhale, press back, warrior three, exhale. Good, knee up, inhale, figure four, hands to heart, exhale, stay here, one breath. And, and then stand up, both feet down, switch sides, right? Well, bend knees first and then switch sides, left ankle, right thigh. Hands to heart or arms up, find the flow with arms, whatever works best. Right, really use the root of your right foot. Inhale, stand up, bring your left knee up. Exhale, press back. Good, stand up, bring your knee up, inhale. Bend your knee, figure four, exhale. Inhale up. Right, the flow with balance can present its own challenges. Inhale, stand up. And then exhale, figure four, take a breath. Good, unwind, both feet down, hands to heart. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hinge, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Step back, down dog, exhale. Good. Right leg up, inhale. Right knee behind right wrist, pigeon pose, exhale. Grab a little support if you want something underneath the right hip, blanket, block, pillow, and then hinge fold forward. Come to forearms, you can stack arms, whatever feels best. Figure four on your back, I think we just said standing is also a great variation. This pose sometimes just doesn't work for knees or hips or ankles. Good. And then just slow down your breath. Right. Hip openers in general, great for second chakra. Right. Physically, they get into that area. Right. But it can also be the water element, the fluidity that we find there. This seed of our creativity, but really also of our sexuality. And you think about it as a two combined. Right, stabilize first so that then there can be some movement from there. And walk your hands back, unwind, step back, down dog. Second side, left leg up, left knee behind left wrist, pigeon. And straighten out through your right leg, fold forward. And just take a few breaths. Right, like all of our chakras, you can have too little or too much energy here. Right, the too little, like we we're saying, sometimes things feel really rigid, overly organized and planned. Right? And that less willing to change, right? almost like the root to the stability takes over. Sometimes when there's an excess of energy here, there's none of that, right? Things feel fluid and change and in flux all the time. You know, it's just about finding that balance point. Walk yourself back, root through your hands, stretch back down dog. Full breath in. And then bring your knees down to your mat. Have a seat. If you want to sit up again on blanket or pillow or support, do that. We'll take just a few moments, seated, attention to this chakra. Whatever feels like a comfortable seat. And if you're someone who, like that physical touch feedback is helpful, you can bring your hand right there, the area of the lower belly and your sacrum on your back. And then start to move your breath to where your hands are. And so the color here for the second chakra is orange. 
And you can picture it like a spinning wheel or disc. And it fills that space front to back. And the mantra, the sound, or each of them have a sound, is VAM with a V, V-A-M, VAM. And so you might associate one more with the color or with the sound, whatever just feels like it fits for you. You can picture yellow or repeat that sound. And just take about five full breaths with that. And then release your hands, bring your hands together at your heart. Lift heart to hands, bow in head to heart. Thank you so much for sharing the practice. We'll see you for the next one. Namaste.